Greetings, everybody, and welcome. Last we left off, our companions ventured deep into a cave underground, and they decided to explore a castle that they found sinking into the ground beneath them. After a few hours of exploration, the group where we left off ended in a tomb room where they were examining a sarcophagus that was bolted down with multiple cha chains. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we begin, let us introduce our companions. Huzzah! Ah! The legends themselves. Okay, Boy. so you guys are in this room. Uh, you were examining it. Last time, Brindley, you were the closest to it. You were checking out the symbols and markings that were on the sarcophagus, and there was a green light that was emanating from it. And you could see that the sarcophagus was kind of moving, floating up and down off the ground, and the chains that were over it were keeping it in place. And I've already... Um... I already did detect magic in there. And there's that yeah. green magic. So, do you guys feel like maybe we should open this? Yeah. I don't, I'm I mean... going to say we sh shouldn't <laughs> open it. I'm <laughs> uh... I mean, clearly someone does not want this. <laughs> yeah, there's... I'm already over at it, like, put my fingers under the end, like... Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Good so, <laughs> so, here's the thing. We definitely know there's a dragon in there. Oh! I can be fairly, fairly certain of that. Do we oh. want to deal with a dragon <laughs> right now? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, step I'm away lying. from the sarcophagus. <laughs> I'm gonna vote no on the dragon. I I I, mean, I can go one. either way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in between. <laughs> I want to. Oh jeez. Oh. Look at that. How can we not? Yeah, I, can we not? It's, it's begging to be open. No. <laughs> Just a crack. Just a crack. I want to live. Uh, it's a scotch. Uh, um, let's open it. Peek inside. Peek yeah, in. Peek inside. Peek in. Does anyone have a communication <laughs> spell they can do? And talk to the person in there? Oh, the dragon in there? The sarcophagus oh. once again starts moving up and down, and you hear just a faint murmur from within <laughs> the coffin. Um, um, I can speak draconic. Maybe I could. I have comprehend languages. <gasps> Ooh, do you have send message too? Um, I do not. <laughs> Before we uh, move any further, why don't we get where all you guys are at since we got the cam up? Okay. So we got we got uh, 
Brindley here in the bottom left corner. Which way is the door? You get where you guys are all standing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be as close to the door as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you guys pushed me I, in. I move right over to it, and I'm like holding the, trying to pull it. Yeah, that's you in the top right, <laughs> Guthak. Okay. Already yeah, next to it. Right. I'm, gonna Luce, hide, you wanna be? I'm gonna hide behind Guthak, kind of like, like I'm interested, but I'm scared. Like I'm trying to look braver than I am. I want to be like halfway to the door from where I am right now. Just like kind of close enough. Yeah, right there. Close enough. I needed to be for, further enough away to run away. <laughs> and Cersei? Mm, I'm going to come in on the closest opposite side of the uh, adjacent from on the inside. <laughs> Words are really hard right now. Um, <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> you said yes to like is three adjacent? <laughs> You are standing yep. adjacent. That's yep. to pose. That adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. So you all are placed. What would you like to do now? I feel like we should inspect the other exit door just in case we need to flee that way before we try to open up the, the, the tomb. Thing. Um, check around. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, just, yeah, just see if getting through the door is e easier or something. You know, emergency situations. You gotta run. Yeah, that, I, let's perception check around to see if there's any, like, trap doors or... Hey, do we try knocking on the... The sarcophagus. Morse code. I don't know. Knocking. I hear, open that door. I hear you say. I hear you say that, and then I just start knocking. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Guthak Hello? just pounds on the, on the sarcophagus, and uh, you don't you don't get a response. It's just more kind of slow murmuring and and garbled <laughs> moaning that you hear. You can't make any sense of it. Can't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have good like history? I think like, I do. So like I guess in character I would say something to the effect of like <laughs> does anybody know anything about dragons? Like sort of history or like the dragons of the great dragons of time. Would anyone I have a proficiency in history. I could try rolling and seeing if I know anything. We'll see. But no one can give you guidance. You oh, can... I give myself guidance. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the only guidance you'll ever need. In <laughs> Self guidance. 18 total. Oh. Fancy. Okay, and you're, and you're checking out. What are you, what are you doing this on? I'm doing a history check to see if I know anything about this esophagus or, or esophagus, and <laughs> Am I that doesn't feel right. Um, sarcophagi. Sarcophagus <laughs> guy. Damn it, Maddie. And <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that to see if I know anything about the dragon that might be in there. Okay. You're checking out the inscriptions because you know Draconic, right? Yes. Okay, so you're ch as you're checking out the inscriptions, you can see that um, going out, running along the sarcophagus, it tells the story of a dragon priest who was imprisoned in the sarcophagi and you don't know it doesn't say why but they just said that it's a it's a punishment for them. Oh my goodness. I so, let my friends know this. So whoever's in there is probably not a, a good guy. It's probably safe to say. They could have <laughs> lied. Too small for a dragon to be this. 
That was such a little piece of Killian. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, though. We should still maybe find out. But it's not a dragon, so not as no, it's a dragon priest. So it could be a dragon who's a priest, or or, or oh, <laughs> what double a double dragon. whammy, <laughs> double <laughs> double trouble. Let's let's beat the shit. Yeah, open it. I didn't think about that. It could still be a dragon. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess we're all gonna die okay, here we did go. we look around <laughs> you guys want a rock paper scissors for it just do it just do it uh, no, let's let go back, back to it. do it anyway <laughs> yeah. do stone, it. stone parchment right. and soul you uh you take a step up and go ahead and, go ahead and make a strength check for me <laughs> here we go oh, I'm gonna nap. So I take a couple steps back I don't want to die. I got... 11. Okay. As you go over to the... kind of side of the sarcophagus, you step up to it, and choosing to ignore the chains that are running over it, you Mm. go to (laughs) lift it up as hard as you can... And you feel like a you feel like a slight pop in your abdomen, <laughs> and and the, the sarcophagus like opens up for maybe a tenth of an inch, and then it, it just slams <laughs> down shut again with the uh, the chains running over it, holding it in place still. I'm um, I'm fine. Uh, I'll try to clean this. <laughs> next. I should have. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're not fine. You got stuff poking I'm out good. of your ass. I'm good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Someone has to draw that. How does the, the chains look? Oh. <laughs> That's really funny. Um. Well, that didn't work. I'm, I'm gonna try to rip the chains off. <laughs> I'm, after that I'm, I'm really embarrassed by that, so I'm really like quickly going to go okay. to the chains. And try go and ahead and make them. a make a strength check for one of the chains. We'll start with the. We'll just go top down. Fourteen. I I gave them guidance. I forgot about that earlier. Uh, one more d one d four roll, Trev. Two. Okay, the, you're able to uh, lift up the chain and pull the first one off. There's, looks like there's uh, five that remain. Oh, I I, I got it. I'm gonna do the, <laughs> the other ones. Your companions watch on in anticipation as you move <laughs> to the second I, one. Can I try to? It's like we can't do anything about the it. Last one of them. You well, want to do what? Can I try to Eldritch Blast one of them to help him out? Sure, yeah. Like the bottom one, so it's like far away from him. Uh, okay. What, sorry, Trev, what'd you get on that? 12. Okay. Is that with your guidance? No, not. That's just my roll and my bonus. Yeah, go ahead and you still have guidance from Destiny oh, casting okay. it on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, another two, so 14. Okay, you can't quite get the second one. Uh, anybody else got a better idea? I'm gonna keep trying. Um, <laughs> I I got a, stone. Oh yeah, Billion's doing his blast. I got a twenty-two <laughs> to hit the bottom chain. Okay, the bottom one. Yeah, yeah. You just send out a, a sweet little chaotic like blast and it just <laughs> cracks into the bottom one yeah. oh. can I do like a double punch on the thing it's <laughs> like the stones I'm trying not to break my hands try and loosen it on the stones it's like bolted into the ground right yeah 
Yeah. Break so it free, free it that way. Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, 23. Well, 18. And then, does that count as an attack? Yeah. Okay, so 23. <laughs> All right. You just squat down and just... Yeah, 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 yeah. You just start punching <laughs> the shit out of the base of the chain until it's just, <laughs> it's just nothing. Your hands are just bloody, but you just, you're uh, supremely proud of yourself. Good job. The chains Woosh. remain. All right. Oh, I might as well get the one that's directly in front of me. I'll just, just do a strength. Yeah. Do I get guidance? Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> guidance. <laughs> His name is Guidance. No, oh, it's not looking. Ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, you can't quite lift it up and out from where you're from where you're at. While this is happening, I'm percep I'm gonna perception check around my area to see if there's anything along the walls that might show like a extra escape route in case we need it. Okay. Okay. Someone else can roll for one of the other chains if you want to while you're yeah, doing this. Try it. Try you guys can. You guys. Yeah, Hold I don't on. like to interfere too much, but you guys can help each like help each other at once. Yeah, I'll help. Great. 20, 20, uh, 21 plus guidance. Twenty four on another chain. Okay. That uh, that one you weren't able to get the first time. This time you put more might into it, and with the power of your might, you ting, lift it up and out. One chain remains. Ah. Woohoo! I got an unnatural 20. Okay. That's some might call unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> the last chain comes up and out. Oh, no, I, I did a perception check. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Uh, the, you see one way leading from the south. It's a it's a small sized hallway, so it is only big enough for a halfling uh, or smaller. Interesting. Okay, good. Should we all tug of war this next one and pull it out? Yeah, let's go rip it out. Yeah, together. We send you guidance. Do we all just help then? Yeah. yeah, I'll just I'll go over there and help. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna roll really help uh, Guthak. Can you all roll or just add one to Guthak's roll for each of us. No, He's away on set. I got a. <laughs> we can we can add one for everybody. I rolled a one, but plus three. <laughs> so <it's four. laughs> <laughs> Somehow we're all together. <laughs> okay. Uh, woosh, go ahead and roll a d20 for the strength. Five. <laughs> Good, that's is. Four. Him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four. 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 All right, how about this? Everybody, just roll your d20 for strength. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we'll add up everybody's since that's <laughs> since uh, you're all going for it. <laughs> Mine's a Nine. thirteen minus one, so twelve. Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Call them out. Call them out. Ten Four. minus one, nine. <laughs> Four. Cersei, what'd you get? I got ten minus one, so nine. 
Yeah, we got right, some. Give me one number, people. Jesus Christ, make it easy for me. I got ten by this one, by the better the better. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking it, people. Roll guidance? Can we roll guidance. Yeah, yeah, you had guidance. You, you did it. Good job. I, I got a four. <laughs> Hooray for you. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys pull the last chain up and out, and toss it over, and the sarcophagi just sits there it floats up a few inches and awaits to be opened all right guthak's all about it i'm gonna step back closer to the Go- little Guthac, cave roll, I saw. Roll your strength check yeah, i'm gonna me. go back to the door <laughs> Ten. Okay, you step up to it. You give a slight squat in your position. Make sure to lift with your legs on this one. <laughs> and you, boom, you fling off the the lid. And in the coffin, it's a troll. It's dressed yeah. in rotted finery, but it's jewelry and rings adorned with tiny silver dragons still sparkle. Yes. The creature's body is shrunken and elongated and its flesh is a rubbery putrid gray green. Its black hair is long, thick and ropey. Its beady eyes flash open and it snarls. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. <laughs> I don't like this one. Who the fuck? Oh. Oh. What? Somebody stab it or something. I don't know. Is he bad? Is he speaking troll? Hello. Excuse me. Yes. It took me a second to get my things in order. I haven't spoken in a while. It's going to take me a second to get going, but if you give me a second, I think I can do it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Oh, you too. Uh, Would you mind you setting play? me down for a second? Oh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Whoa. He does a couple stretches. Oh, yeah. Pardon me, I've been in there for a while. So, what brings you lot here? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Who are you? Is it it me? I look like a mess, don't I? (laughs) <laughs> oh, you look, you look great. Um, what, I look what's... disgusting, no, don't what's... I? You're afraid ask... of me. No, I was just gonna ask you. Look your at you! You can't looking. even look at me. Even the one with the horns, the devil. She can't even look at me. Somebody kiss the troll. Nobody kiss the troll. You got to kiss the troll. My heart lays somewhere else. <laughs> now, why the hell did you get me out of there? What the hell were you doing in there? Well, truth be told, they's turned me into this thing. I didn't always look like this. Who did? What did you used to look like? Like an elf. Believe it or not, I was beautiful once. You still are. In, I think in you're your beautiful. own way. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> 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 
It's gonna haunt my dreams. <laughs> Wait, uh, I, I come behind Killen and I go, no, you really five. are. Five. Uh, you're just saying that. I don't believe you. Damn. Well, uh, a bit <laughs> awkward now, <laughs> I suppose. <sighs> don't really know why you let me out. You're very quiet. Uh, maybe uh, I what? should how just leave. Like, how come you? What are we doing here? What? Why, yeah, well, I, 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 <laughs> why were you locked in there? There has to be a reason, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, to be fair, I, I was, I was, I was fucking around with some dragon magic. Yeah, probably okay. should have been. So, what, what are you gonna magic? do now that you're out? Like, what? Or are you just gonna go back in there? <laughs> yeah, are you gonna go back in, or do you want us to kill you? Or <laughs> you oh my to... god! <laughs> no, please don't kill me. You wanna live the life looking the way I'd you like do? To li I mean, <laughs> what what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go stay in some hole outside of town and eat fucking goats and something, mate. Come on. Maybe we can help change him back. Or maybe we get a little cheddar cheese from that jewelry he's got for letting him oh out. My God. I like those dragon emblems that you're wearing. He said he was adorned in beautiful jewels, right? <laughs> Very beautiful indeed. You like my rings? Love them. I got some. I'm going to show my pinky <laughs> ring. Oh, lovely. When, yeah. he, uh, when he shows you his... He's got two rings that he's wearing, and they're, like, fat. I mean, they're huge because they're on his troll hands. And they're mm -hmm. big, thick, silver rings with blue, like, blue jewel running throughout the whole band as well. One of those would probably fit nicely on my big toe. Uh... These, ones, these ones are magical. They change shape for your finger. <laughs> oh, shit. Even better. Tell you what. You want these? Then I'll challenge you to a fight. All of us? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't like this idea. I mean, I'm in. Oh I'll take God. you all on at once. Just don't kill me. Just only knock me out. Yeah? Alright. If I... I'll do the same. <laughs> only, only attacks that will bruise and maybe break a bone, but nothing... That'll kill you. I've got a soft mouth <laughs> and a disciplined left hand. <laughs> do you know, uh, before we fight, do you know anything about this crazy dungeon that you've been held in? Oh, yeah, I know everything about it. Well, could you tell me about it? Who lives here? Well, uh... uh I don't know how long I've been in there, but last time I was here, this place was owned by a bunch of dragon worshippers. So they turned this place into, oh, I guess you could just say one big cult, yeah, for dragons. We took people here, we kidnapped them, we did some things, you know, yip the yada. We? And, you uh, were a part of them? I mean, I did... I did things, uh, but look, look, low on the scale, like going and getting ale and food and, you know. Okay. I didn't kill no one. So what did you do? Yeah. What did yeah. you Come do again. to get, get punished in such a, I mean, you were put in there for a really long time and they had a bolted, man. I mean, they must have thought you were really dangerous yeah to be fair i mess with magic that i shouldn't have i was trying all right if i'm honest i was trying to change somebody into a dragon and it didn't it didn't work out so well so that this was my punishment for that what happened to them the uh, big explosion <laughs> blood everywhere it was Whoa. horrible horrible that sounds fantastic Oh. Can we see it again? Uh, maybe if you learn the spell, but I don't. Okay. I don't remember it. Spells, so. 
Uh, I don't remember a lot of things. Are you ready to fight? Or... I don't remember a lot of things. Are we going to fight? Was it yeah. King Ashra that your cult worshipped? King Ashra? King Ashra? Yeah, maybe it hasn't been too long. What year is it? I fucking Not forgot. Positive. <laughs> what? Yeah, things get things get a little twisted down here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what year is it again? I forgot. That's okay. I, I, in... <laughs> 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 I can tell by your clothing. Yeah, you're probably from the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So fancy and shit. <laughs> We're from the future so far in the future that it's the past again. <laughs> in instead of fighting, oh. maybe <laughs> there's something we can help you with so that our good friend Woozy over here can have one of your rings or two and we help you with something. Like You could join us. We You could be our friend. Just not sure about fighting. This guy seems scary to me. I think he's. I think he nah. might be a little more powerful. I reckon we should fight. <laughs> Ready? Here I come! <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. I reckon we should fight. Alright, everyone roll initiative for me. Oh, yes! Give me one second nice. before you call it Thank out. You, I'm gonna choke him out. What is it? Soft taco. I know he's here. Should eat that. You can have it if you want it. You look like you want a soft taco. Here you go. Mm. Oh, big money. Alright, Kraken, what'd you get? Uh, 17. 17. Susie. 10. 10. <laughs> Killian. 4. 4. Whoosh. Nineteen. Nineteen. Guthak. Seven. Brindley. Sixteen. Okay. We roll for the troll. Suddenly hey, yo, troll. No more. We'll get sixteen. <laughs> so we're gonna have whoosh. Up first, after Woosh is going to go to Kraken. After Kraken, it goes to the troll. And then it goes Circe. Guthak. And then Killian. <coughs> okay. So, Woosh. Where would you like to go? Uh, I'm going to start by doing my trash talk. Because I can now. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm going to roll for that. Ten. Eight. So I'm going to say, eat puke, carrot boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh, okay, so my superior grappling technique says, it allows you to use your acrobatics to make a grapple. Additionally, you may use one of your fury of blows attacks to attempt to grapple. You have a creature grappled. Okay. So I'm going to try to grapple. I'm going to charge at him and try to acrobatics behind him and start just choking him out here and make it stop. Okay. 
So, 18. Okay, 18 hits. Okay, I'm going to use a key point to do the submission hold. So he has to make a dexterity saving throw against my monk DC, which is that just my... What number is that? To, to pass or fail the DC? I think yeah, it's so just based on. Made... I think it's just based off of what yours is. So my dexterity is sixteen. Okay. So he fa- so he fails. Okay, so he's restrained. Okay. On the start of my next turn, if it's still restrained, I, it has to make a strength saving throw or take damage to two rolls of my martial arts die plus dexterity mark. Okay. You hop on the, you run over, kiai, 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 and jump on the back of the troll real quick, and uh, put him in a, a little chokehold at the top, and he, you feel him now. He's pretty slimy and nasty, and he, he feels pretty frail, coming out of there. And you just hear the kind of the air just kind of get sucked out of his, his lungs when you when you give him a anaconda squeeze. Okay, and I forgot, for the trash talk, he has to make a wisdom saving throw, and if he fails any attack or ability check attempted by him will be at disadvantage until the end of its next turn. Okay, right, he's at a... He, he, yep, he, he fails. He's at a disadvantage. Okay, with the carrot boy insult. With the carrot boy. All right, that will do it for me. Okay, that will move to Kraken. Microphone. We're not trying to kill him, right? That's like the whole thing. Yeah, we're just punching him and bombing right. on unarmed strikes. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run up to him, give him the old one too. Okay. And if he's restrained, does that give advantage, or does that? How does that affect other people's attacks? That, oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. That gives you an advantage on that roll. Oh, thank God. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Even worse. All right. That's going to be a 10. Okay. Uh, you, while he's in the chokehold, you run up and give him give him the old one-two, as you said. And uh, his skin is so slimy and, and rubbery. His You just kind of punch his cheek into his mouth. And it just like a like a gummy, it just kind of flops back in place, and he's just kind of gives you a smirk and laughs a little bit. Oh. All right, then I just I back up a little bit, I guess. Can I do that? I guess I already moved though. Okay. You could back up a little bit. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. That'll go to the troll next. So it well, says he... on the start of its next turn, if it's restrained, make a strength saving throw, or then it takes damage if it fails. Okay, I fail. Okay, so I'm going to roll damage now. Two rolls of the martial arts die. Die one plus. So that's five. Nine damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, as you give him the the squeeze, you just hear more air kind of get uh, pushed out of his his lungs and throat. And now he's starting to kind of, now he's a little worried. He's kind of starting to panic a little bit, and uh, maybe maybe thinking that uh, he's gonna end up losing conscious faster than he anticipated. So <laughs> he is going to just take a. He's just gonna claw out at Kraken. 
and that is a Jesus, a twenty four. He's got disadvantage ah. Oh yeah, that's right, sorry. Nineteen. Oh Ooh, shit. That's, my AC is nineteen. Okay, so that just hits. And the claw is going to be two D six plus four. Jesus. Jesus. What? My god. Oh no, sorry, one D six because it's a uh it's bludgeoning. Thank okay. you. Okay, that is eight bludgeoning damage to you. Oh, really? <laughs> Son of a bitch. But I guess you won't kill me. That's the whole point. Okay, and that will end the troll's turn. That goes to Cersei. How close can I get to the troll? You like you can get. Are you are you muted right now? Or am I? I don't know. No. Can you guys? Can you guys hear Maddie? Hello. Yeah. Sounds good. Hello. Uh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Hello. You, you can get. You can get. That's your 30 okay. feet in between there. Or you could just use a spell and... Well, I think I want to use my my chill touch spell, but I have to hold on to him. Okay. So... So you want to get up right next to him? Yeah. There we go. Um, so I'm going to get up next to him. I'm going to grab him. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to say for the leg. I'm going to grab his leg. Okay. And I'm going to cast my chill touch. Okay. And you get the advantage because... Or no, you don't need advantage. You're not rolling for that already. I got a seven. Okay. Nice. Okay, as you re put your hand out to the leg, you start... F you see his leg start freezing... From where you're touching and it and it shoots out from all directions from where your hand is about a foot and a half and uh now the troll is really starting to freak out but he uh can't really seem to get a fix on what you guys are doing at this moment so he has no no choice but to just kind of stay in place that'll go to guthak oh. i'm gonna i'm gonna run up to him i'm pissed that he he hit my turtle man friend, and I'm gonna grab him by the shoulders and try to headbutt him right in the face. Okay, go ahead and make that with uh, advantage. Seventeen. All right, we'll take uh, the seventeen plus. Take twenty for that first strength check. Nice. Yeah, that hits. Go and roll the, your uh, damage for that. What's the uh, unarmed strike damage? I'll say that's a for you. That's a one d six. 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 All right. As you uh, you have to kind of jump up in the air a little bit. You do, and then you grab his face, and as you go to headbutt. Woosh is on the back, and you see him, and Woosh is just laughing as you drive your <laughs> your skull into the skull of the troll. And when you when you move your <laughs> when you remove your face from its face, you can see a bunch of teeth fall out, <laughs> and his nose, his tiny nose, is all fucking crooked and shit, and his eyes are cross-eyed. I want to pick up the teeth. He's pocket. kinda teetering. Yeah, he's kinda teetering and tottering, but he's still standing, just barely. That'll go to Killian. Um, okay, so I will keep my sword in its sheath. And it's still like it's got these big ass spikes and stuff, so it's pretty like 
as I swing it through the air, it makes it like whoop uh, sound. And I'm just going to take a big ol' Or wait, am I even close to this guy? I guess I, I'll run up to him. Okay. Which one's my... Okay, yeah. So I'll, I'll run and I might actually take a, like, run up, uh, like, jump and run up Guth Guthok's back. Ooh, yeah. Him, and as I'm coming down, just whoop and smack him <laughs> on top of the dome. Okay. <laughs> as I'm waiting. Nice. I uh, like that. And that's going to be an 18 to hit. Okay, now roll another d24 uh, athletics. Okay. Oh, natural 20. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> As you... Take the one, two, three Michael Jordan jump off of Guthak's <laughs> back. Guthak kind of feels you as you as you uh, jump up onto him, and he he already knows what you're going Just for. So he gives angle. you a little he gives you a little <laughs> boost. Um, <laughs> so you get the perfect approach on it, and uh, he Guthak just looks on proudly as he sees Killian fly through the air, <laughs> about to uh, lay the smackdown on the troll. <laughs> And you, you do. You connect. So go ahead and roll for your damage on that. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that's going to be uh, just a six. Plus damage. 1d4. Oh, plus 1d4. Thank you for my... Yeah. And thank you for the blessing. Ooh, plus four. So okay. Uh, as you come down on the troll's skull, you still see... <laughs> still see Woosh on the back just choking him out. And he just... He just is surprised to see you flying through the air. And he's just like... Brother! As you fly towards him and you just... Bam! Just smash the troll right in the face. Oh and my. you just see the lights go out in Georgia <laughs> as you float down to the ground. And uh, the troll just kind of takes a few steps back and lets out kind of a just a moan and then it just slams into the ground. Yeah! Congratulations! <laughs> You've won! <laughs> One round. Well, everybody got their, their moves in. One round on this guy. Yeah. Is that what Chris. he says as he's lying on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, that was only like six seconds. Can we so wake I, him? I wrote him in. I'm going to take his... Or maybe we find out what the rings are first. Yeah, don't, yeah just, just, don't be stealing I mean, things, Woo. As oh, there, oh, as that's really what we're fighting for. <laughs> we just take them all and just leave them here? Or... <laughs> Maybe we could wake him up and the, I, I'm sure he'll give it to you now. Yeah, we can oh, be yeah, good sure. sportsmen about it. It was for fun. <laughs> if he doesn't, we'll kill him. And he's like ancient. Exactly. He's ancient so. <laughs> he's, yeah, yeah let's wake him up. I'm going to slap his cheeks and because I wrote him down, so I'll just stay on and to wake up. Oh, hey, buddy. Wake up. Okay, you <laughs> you don't get any response. He's just <laughs> he's just laying there, just just out, and you give a check his pulse. Okay, you do, and he's dead. <laughs> oh, no! We weren't supposed to kill him. Way to go, Killian! <laughs> oh, no. Wait. As I can bring him almost, back. An, <laughs> almost in an instant, as Woosh realizes that the troll has been killed, the troll itself starts to gyrate and kind of shake, and its eyes and mouth pop open, and a bunch of light shoots out from its eyes and its mouth. And the body starts to lift up off the ground and almost gets 
turned backwards as this energy erupts from it. And it shoots up into the ceiling and disperses like a bunch of v like veins Can running throughout. Can I hold out my gem? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you hold out your gem, the energy moves across the ceiling and down towards the ground. And then it heads straight for you, Killian. And it shoots towards your feet and concentrates in an instant and shoots straight for your chest. Oh. And you look as the energy oh. sh shoots towards your chest, you feel that same sensation that you felt the last time this happened. And a searing <laughs> burn <laughs> gets put into your chest. And you can see the shape of a star and the star is now glowing and and sizzling and steaming off your chest as the troll body slams back down and into the ground lifeless oh fuck are you okay Killian no <laughs> what was that that's what you get for doing a kill when we're supposed to be doing a knockout <laughs> <laughs> it was that extra damage. He's dead? <laughs> oh, no. yes. We barely touched him. I love that your story is your hate killing thing, and you were the one that killed him. <laughs> so both, both of the bad guys so far. <laughs> so conflicted with killing, and you keep asking. <laughs> oh. He's like, he's literally, I'm laughing, but, <laughs> but, but Killy is actually really like, just like, <laughs> I, I, I thought he was stronger than that. I, I, hey, I Killy, good job, pal. You did, a, you did a good job. I, you did that. I rolled a constitution save and I rolled a two, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So his body's back now. Take those the troll body. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it just slumped back down to the ground, lifeless. All right, um, I'm gonna we we loot him and disperse whatever he may have on him. Yes. We Are you going to do wait that? two minutes for a prayer? <laughs> I have a spare the dying I spell. You know what? Oh. I have a spare the dying spell. Oh, you shit. can save him? Yeah, uh, it says you touch a living creature that has zero hit points, the creature becomes stable. This has no effect on the undead. So, but it's... Yeah. I feel like he's he was a zombie. zombie. Oh. In a way... Well, perhaps he can have some effects. information we could use. What are we doing here again, anyway? <laughs> we kind of just stumbled <laughs> upon this. We think we're... Looking it's like, yeah, we're, 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 we're like looking for these two guys. Oh, yeah. Not, not the I think they came in here. Probably should have asked him if he, well, he wouldn't have seen anyone. He was. <laughs> they had the good sense not to let him out. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's loot him and boot. Loot does, that spell boot. Work? does that, does that spell work? My spell? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, does, does my spell work on it, on the troll? Uh, yes, you walk up to him and you cast it and you check his pulse and his pulse is returned. I'm going to take his rings off before he wakes up. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got him. You got two of he his silver rings. Him, so. <laughs> I'm still um, on his back. I, I also understand. gained five temporary hit points from him when I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I can give him a spell to cure his wounds now that he's back alive. Or should I save that for one of us? I would save that. I'd save that. Yeah. Don't cure his wounds. <laughs> Don't cure this guy. He's alive again. So let's try and wake him up. He did literally ask for it. Yeah, he did. Cup his face and and say hello try and wake him up okay you just 
only kind of feel faint breathing on your face. Kind of the stinky, rotten smell of him breathing, and you get no response from him. That's what well, he's up in his face. Should we let him nap? I've smelt worse. <laughs> we can let him nap. He would just come back. Like, where's he gonna go? Put him back in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. After that fight, too, you guys all have one level of exhaustion. Oh, right now. Oh. Shit. Where do you log that in here? What are, yeah. Um, I would just jot it if you, like a notepad if you're, or something. Uh, it's in your conditions. Condition my condition. Like just putting it in the boons. It's right next to, or right underneath your hit points. I'm gonna say a prayer for him and then we can. So. All of you have, uh, because of the one level of exhaustion, all of you have disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Can we uh, take a rest in here with him while we wait for him to wake up? Sure. Yeah. Use it. Just try to Arcana the try rings. To identify the rings. Okay, uh, yeah. Like... You, you, you can't really tell what they are. They're just... Uh, they are they are beautiful and they do look unique, but you can't discern exactly what type of rings there are. But perhaps one that you met in Tomworth might be able to identify what that jewelry piece might be. Right. Um. What's his name? Uh, Zilber. Zilber. <laughs> 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 we'll Zilber. Throw the deck. <laughs> Zilber. <laughs> yeah, Zilber will, will know. What, uh, yeah, will be I kind of want to do a little pinky ring thing. If you guys are cool with me keeping at least one, I don't know. Yeah, get another one. The other one. I don't want one of those rings. I figured, Guthak. You're a okay, sweet man, but simple. I'm okay. <laughs> What? The turtle doesn't want one? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll take one. <laughs> Bat A! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kraken puts on one of the uh, silver uh, troll rings and it conforms, shrinks down to his uh, turtle finger size perfectly. Mm. Nice ring. Do we chain this guy up before we take a, take a nap? Chain him up. Uh, yeah. We're just leaving. I mean, I could just, have watch. I could just sit. Yeah, I could just keep watch. And yeah, we can just it, switch. Yeah, that still counts as rest for a short rest, right, Dave? Like if you just, just sit and chill. Yeah, you, could, you guys want a short rest in there? Yeah. Yeah, I okay. could just keep watch if you want to take a quick nap. A short rest, fix exhaustion, or is it? Do you need a long rest for exhaustion? Needs to be. Ooh. It needs to be fixed with a long rest. Yeah. A long rest. A long rest. You guys have been going since you woke up the morning to go to the f to the first cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys have been. You guys rest. have been going for a while, uh, quite some time well, now. Yeah. Let's this is a cozy place. Let's chain the dude up and then go to long rest. Lock up the door. Okay, the chains yeah. are broken. You guys did break the chains, so you can still use them, but you're going to have to figure out a way to use them. Oh, uh, I can being use broken. Mending Touch. Oh, Kraken! Oh. Oh. You're Kraken, you crazy, trip, baby. Too. Yeah, that's a cantrip. Okay, perfect. <laughs> can there you go. All of them. Yeah, nice. you just you step up and Maybe use your... I never used it. wanted to use it the whole time. I never got to. <laughs> Kraken, you uh, you stand over the chains and kind of do some, some chanting and and uh, bobbing as you, as you the rest of you guys hear the sounds of the chains being put back together, and uh, just within a few moments, all the chains are are back and able to restrain him. Which you do, correct? You restrain. Wow. Yes, we restrain him. Okay. Can we restrain um, it with like a couple of them and then also use the other chains to secure the doors? Do we need all those chains to secure him? He's pretty old. What do you guys think? I don't think we need. I mean, I don't think he's going to hurt us after waking yeah. up. 
We'll probably hear him waking up in case the we've, chains are oh, clinking around. I'll, yeah, I'll just, use him as a pillow. I'll snuggle. I'll, I'll use him as a pillow. And if you move, that will. Yeah, no, we just him. literally Perfect. killed him on accident in like six seconds. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, <laughs> I'll twist his head off. Cries <laughs> yeah, <tries> anything. <laughs> Maybe leave it on just for now. Uh, for now. For now. I could cast for a sleeping servant to watch him. Sure. Ooh, that's a good idea. Sure. Is that a, is that, a is that a cantrip? It's a spell. Unseen I guess servant. We are. Yeah. Yeah, you can do you can you can do that if you want to for sure. And then I can tell him to wake us if something happens. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm gonna sleep in my little halfling cake, like hole over there. Do I need to roll? No. You, no, you don't need to roll. Okay. You you take a step forward, and you shoot this projection out from you. After you you kind of work some uh, shapes with your hands, and then you push it out, and you see this projection of yourself step out of you, kind of in this like uh, camouflaged kind of light so it's almost invisible and uh, it just takes a step and just starts standing right in front of the troll who's now restrained nice that's dope do anybody like some beer <laughs> for sure five pints <laughs> <coughs> oh I don't drink oh okay well then I'll give all of us except for Brinley will have all of my beers. I'll use actually I can use just use my unseen servant to hand them out to everybody. Oh nice. Thank you, sure, thank you. Thank you, Ghost. Also, servant is in the name. I'll also uh, pack my corn cob pipe full of some willingness on root. <laughs> and uh, pass it around. Okay. Killian, go ahead and roll a do a nature a nature check for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, medicine. Sorry, medicine. 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 So what's Wisdom. a nature check? Oh okay. I'm gonna use my What do I roll? No, Killian. Sorry, did oh. I say did I say you? I don't know. I don't know now. <laughs> five. You got a five? Yeah. Okay. You take a you take a nice uh, exhale, and um, for some for some reason when you do, the smoke that you blow out is like this crazy blue and purple smoke instead of the clear kind of smoke you're used to, and then you feel like a really light sensation in your in your stomach and your feet uh, <laughs> oh this is really good stuff I, mean, uh, I think this is a, di a different batch than I'm used to <laughs> does anybody else have twinkly toes or is that just me <laughs> would anyone like some mushrooms that I Put together from home. Oh, good. Are they the kind of mushrooms? <laughs> are, are they the ones that make you feel swirly? Yeah, they're good for you. Yeah, I would like to have some of those. Oh wait, does having the mushroom affect my unseen servant? <coughs> uh, which mushroom are you gonna eat? You guys it's have you guys have picked it. Mushroom concoction <laughs> that I made out of the. Mushrooms we picked earlier up on the top of the cave. Okay. All right, you hand you hand uh, this mushroom concoction, as you say, over to Cersei, and you can see it's the really colorful purple and pink mushrooms that she's. Uh... What what does this look like? Are they like? Is it whole stems? Did you chop them up? Did you grind them? What'd you do? Oh, it's uh. It's like a little, sh like, goop 
made into like a, you know Ooh. how people make those nature biscuits out of a bunch of nuts and, and shit. It's mm. like that, but it's got mushroom and um, tree root and, and uh, bee wax and a lot of sap. So it's, it's all stuck yummy. together like a little granola well, snack. Yummy sap ball. Ugh. A sap all right. snack. Mm. Only the okay. best. I'm gonna ask Brinley. Brinley, does is this going to affect my servant? Because you know more about these mushrooms, so does it have effects on those kinds of spells? Actually, I'm using this as a little bit of an experiment because these are new <laughs> mushrooms to me <laughs> from up from up in the cave. So we'll see. Oh uh, shit. Uh, no pressure. You don't have to take them. Can I just keep this for later? Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait for a better time. Okay. No, wait, you have them, so we know how they affect you, but not me. <laughs> I don't want my I don't want us all to fall asleep and then wake up and some big angry troll is like <laughs> trying to murder us. He's chained up. I know, cool. but you never know. We'll wait till we can all celebrate with a little shroomy snack. Okay. Okay, Cersei will. politely refuses the uh, <laughs> the the mushroom sap ball that Brinley <laughs> offered. Power balls? How can you use it? Power ball. Power the ball. Rest, the, re <laughs> the rest of you take up uh, little spots around the room as you prepare for a nice, lovely, long rest. So... Are we taking a long rest? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Or we're exhausted. Okay, cool. I'm going for a while. Food and drink to clear that exhaustion level. But we're all so with that, we'll go ahead and take a, uh, a short break. We'll be back here in just a couple minutes. Go! <laughs> Watching in the shadows, waiting, biding my time to make sure you were worthy. And now it begins. The fox man, Zoo girl, Triclops, Madam Magic. You fools think you can stop me? You never had a chance! <laughs> Spells and superheroes.
Okay, did any, anybody want to do anything else before you guys uh, go down for sleep? Oh. Nope. Okay. About, mm, we'll say, five hours into what is otherwise a perfect amount of or a, a, excuse me a perfect place to sleep you're comfortable you're happy had some beer before seriously your servant <laughs> your unseen servant sorry that sounds weird comes over to you and starts uh, moving you and it moves you awake and it points over to where the troll is at. And you can just see some slight movement. And you can bar like barely hear the chains rattling. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit up and I'm going to nudge. Is anybody close to me? Are we like all laying near each other? Good question. Are you near anybody? Near. 
empty I'm seat right there right next to you. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Everyone is right. Like we're all like laying very close to each other. So I'm just gonna, okay. I'm just gonna nudge the people closest to me, whether or not I'm in the middle or on the end. I'm just gonna nudge them and try to slowly wake up everybody to like just sit up. Okay. Make a stealth check for me. That'd be twenty. Secret, secret. Yeah. So twelve plus. Fourteen. Okay, you are able to awake all your companions without alerting the uh, what seems to be the troll oh, that's okay. awakening in the corner. All right, so we're all awake and aware. Um, Let's go make sure he's okay when he wakes up. It's going to be a tough. <laughs> Tough wake up. Yeah, I say we all make sure that we have everything gathered with us. Do we still get like the effects of a long rest? Like, are we still exhausted and stuff? You no, not right now. Okay. Okay. Um, we, we don't get the effects, or we're not, or we are. <laughs> You're not exhausted anymore. Oh. Okay. Right. Yes. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to actually walk over to the troll and sort of crouch okay. down in front of him and kind of put my hand on his shoulder. Oh, God. <laughs> Did I win? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did great. <laughs> oh, that's that's why you got me in chains. <laughs> well, after you displayed such great strength, we just, you know, we just wanted to make sure that, you know, you didn't. Yeah. If you woke up in a frit in a fits, you know, you might just oh. accidentally hurt someone before we could make sure we were all. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, probably for the best, right? Yeah. Uh. For sure, we can we can truly remove them. No, if you, if you promise not to hurt anybody. I would have, uh, you know, fights some fair. And <laughs> if I won, or you won, then uh, no yeah. need to go any more, yeah? Yeah, probably for the best. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you, you're really, for like about six seconds, you're really made made your ancestors proud you know you fought <laughs> with great oh, courage and strength it was i was scared were you yeah we all were we were oh uh, oh my apologies i don't mean and, to be scary oh no it's just you're you're great <laughs> you're, you're not <laughs> you're not well <laughs> no, he's, not a, he's not afraid of much but uh you know Oh, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, sure, we'll get these chains off, yeah, I, I suppose. Yeah, get them off me, yeah. Um, should I, I'll wave everybody over if they want it, if anyone wants that. <laughs> or should we do that, or I don't uh, I'm okay with letting him free. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> wow. Cool. Sure. So then, we'll, I guess, eventually we'll get him, get him out of there. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that, and by the way, the uh, bump on the noggin is, you know. Oh, that's sorry. quite all right, yeah. Well, uh, again, bit awkward, but uh, you, you're taking the loss very well. And <laughs> I'd like to give my absolute thanks for the fight. So, in the sarcophagus is a little more treasure for you. So, oh. I'll, I'll be on my way, and uh, then yeah, maybe we'll come across one another. Sure. Uh, before before you go, before you go, we're looking for for two guys. Uh, I know you've been in a <laughs> sarcophagus 
or however you say that were esophagus. Um, do you, any any thoughts on that, or do you uh, are you aware of anything going on in this place aside from just sleeping in a a box for the last few years? Nah. Can't say I know anything about that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks anyway. A any no special rooms we should check out in in the building? Any special of your favorite rooms? rooms? What what exactly are you looking for? <clears throat> well, we're we're looking for our friends, but it's a lovely place, and checking out some of the view might be nice. Uh, have you? been throughout the whole castle not yet all right well i will depart you with this helpful information <laughs> do take heed the further you travel in the castle the more things are start to get strange below the castle lies an underground grove and this grove has a connection to the Fae. Oh. Kraken, could you show our friends your, uh, like, counterfeit magic fruit? Oh, yeah. Do, is, does, does anything like this grow down in this grove? I can't say I've been down in this grove. Oh. I've never seen such fruit that looks tasty, though. I think I'll oh, eat it. And he oh, reaches oh. out and he grabs it and he pops it in his mouth and just starts... Uh, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Was, was Why did the, you taste that? The wrong one? That was the bad one. I told I was screaming not to eat it. Can you hear me? Whoa. No. What? What Throw that mean? up! Yeah. Throw it up! Get rid of that. Uh, uh, I, I, I have Son of a bitch. You just see you just see foam shoot out of his mouth and uh he just his body just slumps oh to the ground and and he's just convulsing <laughs> and shaking. And then you just see his like abdomen just melts open and he's just melting from the no! inside out you guys can truly see the, the the you can fuck? see the full extent of this now as the Holy person shit. he's just like oh <laughs> and he's just <laughs> melting and disintegrating eventually just to a little pile I of i can't jelly. believe i brought that guy back to life just for you to murder him he murdered himself <laughs> yeah he t i tried to I stop him I tried to stop him too. Gilligan's <laughs> killed him twice now. <laughs> you killed him. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> I was no, I definitely can't bring him, him back. I was gonna save that fruit. He's all yeah. He's all gone. He's all gone. He's, and he's dead. Well, let's let's press. <laughs> oh, oh, check the oh my schedule. god! Oh, yeah, I was great. really hoping to twist his head off. <laughs> no, I'll go check the sarcophagus for the. I'm gonna put my hand on Killian's arm and say, uh, "Breathe in life and release the fear." <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! What is going on? My face looks weird. Well, let's check this sarcophagus out. Sarcophagus? Yeah, who wants to? Who's searching it? Uh, I'll search it. Okay. Inside, you find an ornate dagger. It's a. It's a, uh, the blade is nice, shiny silver. The hilt is like a really cool, like brown and green kind of natural color looking hilt and like elvish inscription okay. within the, uh, within the hilt. You also find a silver amulet 
and scattered across the bottom are a bunch of coins. So you find 250 gold pieces. Mixed in with the coin are some rolled up pieces of paper. So you find four scrolls, spell scrolls. First one is command. The second one, cure wounds at second level. Inflict wounds at second level. Ooh, very nice. And guiding bolt at second level. <laughs> well, I felt very badly for our troll friend. I know. He did it to himself. Why? Yeah, don't. why? Jillian is yeah. partial. Feel bad? Um, David, because we're having a long rest, I, do I just get one of my dead. tights back? I tried to stop him. I I try I literally yeah. like the dog okay. at, you know, like when she tried to keep but just one, a dog right? from, like, two. like one. eating something bad. It's like you put your hand in their mouth and they're just like <laughs> Yeah, just, no, you can get both you can get both back. He was greedy. Yeah. You paid the price. I'll take it. Don't feel bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll try. Are you talking about for your health, Kraken? Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, if, we... After a long for, for a long rest, it goes full back, full HP. Oh, it's full back. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you know we're in like a dungeon. It's not like an inn. Yeah, you guys have enough. You're able to rest long enough though for a full eight okay. hours to get a good uh, recharge. And you it's do. Like the Energizer. You're like right. You... Oh, yeah. You awake a few hours later. The goop is still there. No tricks. And uh, you guys kind of wake up and you see Brinley's already awake and she's looking at the area that she kind of slept in last night. And it's this little, little nook that she found here. And uh, Brinley, on the wall above you you see a dragon rune and it pretty it pretty much explains what happened to the troll so the troll was an like what he said was true he was an elf and he delved into dark dragon magic and so his punishment was being turned into a troll and enslaved in this tomb damn uh but you find but you in the night you explored the the area that's connected to and it's just connected to the same spot that the bat who is sitting in a small cage is currently residing. Oh. Oh. Our bat. <laughs> the bat you <laughs> took prisoner. Yeah. yeah the prisoner bat. Where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he didn't go. Yes, I mean, he can't. Oh. He can't escape. He so. hasn't turned into a tr smush troll yet. No, not yet. Oh shit! I forgot about that guy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. How's the raven? Just watching I the bat. Let my friends <laughs> yeah. go. <laughs> and we all head. We should all head down that hallway. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Probably easier than tiptoeing back across the statue. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to head back, you'll just have to... It's just a little squeeze through there, but you'll be able to make it. Yeah. Cool. You guys crawl through there, move back up through here. You can see, like, a push door just swings open and allows you to walk straight through here. So you guys make your way back through the same way that you came. There's no signs of anybody that's been following you. And you're back up into this main room again. And this oh, time, yeah. uh, I don't I don't think any of you guys actually even checked this door, but it was locked before and now it is unlocked. Oh. Mm. So, the puzzle. We will 
head into here. So this is it's just a it's just a ruined chamber. It's just stands empty of all but uh litter and rocky debris. So you have the choice here to go to these three doors right here. Do they uh, all look the same? The, yeah, they're all the same type of doors. I think we should go up and just we should just like peek in and see what's inside these first two doors. So I think the first one we should go is the up, the one to the north. I like that. Check them all. <laughs> Alright, I'll check the left one. So the bottom one, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Killian's going down here? Yeah, I'll check that. And I check, like, marine style, check the corners and, like. <laughs> I'll check the one to the front. I'm gonna go over and just ram. I'm gonna ram it open and kick it. I just open it. I, don't, <laughs> I really don't. It just opens. I was like, oh. Okay, all all of you guys open the door all at once <laughs> to your <laughs> to your <laughs> perspective rooms. So, yeah. Kraken, you're up here, correct? Correct. Okay, so yeah, this is you open this, and it's another empty room. You don't see ah. anything. In here, there's just... It looks like more of the same of what it was when you walked in. Uh, let's see. Killian, you were down here, correct? Yep. Okay. So you open this up, and you see this chamber. Uh, it portrays, like, a dragon like when you open the door you see a uh, what looks like a dragon swimming on the yeah. wall and then over here in the corner you see this 10 foot squared chamber that's hewn from stone and it contains an upright keg fashioned of rusted iron rusted pipes lead from the keg into the floor so one lone keg in oh. here Connected then, with a bunch of weird pipes going into the walls and the floor. And what color is the dragon? Blue. Blue. Okay. Um, I'll approach the keg and I'll. Okay. Just I'll like holler to everyone else. There's some some kind of gizmo in here, um, and then I'll walk up to it and inspect it. Okay, yeah, it looks bigger than an ale keg. It looks about three times the size of one. And when you get up to it, the it's not the contraption is not making any sounds. And it doesn't... You, you kind of <coughs> touch it, and it feels... You, you touch it enough to where it doesn't feel... It feels pretty light. If I give it a knock, does it sound hollow? Like empty? Yeah, it does. Oh. Um, sounds kind of weird, but is there a nozzle anywhere? Like a, you know, like how Keg has like a little tap on it? There, no. There's just connecting pipes that are holding it in place that you can see that are not a part of the 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 uh, pipes that are going into the ground, but the more just there to hold the cake in place. But you don't see anything oh, okay. that you could use to open it. Uh, if I shove my sword in there, can I wedge one of the... Is it a wood? Or you said it was made out of iron or stone. It's like a... It's a wooden steel reinforced cake. Can I, yeah, can I shove my sword and try to snap off one of the wooden panels of the keg? Just to see, like, yeah. if there's any rest. Yeah, go and make what? a strength check for me. Oh. 11. Okay. You get a good little wedge in there, but you don't have enough force to to open it. Okay. Well, then I'll just, for now, I'll just walk back out to the doorway and see what... Uthak 
is that to you? And if maybe I might, you know, depending on how things are going yeah. in that last room, we'll just see if someone can okay. help with that. Yeah, right as uh, as Killian is walking down into his room and Kraken's up there, Guthak, you burst into this room. <laughs> Crudely executed oh. symbols and glyphs scribed in bright green dye decorate this large and irregularly shaped crumbling chamber. Ooh. A large pit in the center shows evidence of a recent fire. A metallic cage in the middle of the southern wall contains a gaping hole and stands empty. A small wooden bench draped with green cloth is next to the cage and several small objects rest on it. A bedroll lies near the wooden bench and the sound of whimpering comes from inside it. Ooh. Hey guys, there's there's a bunch of shit in here. <laughs> Come check this out. Where's that whimpering coming from? Hello? Hello? Oh my the uh, the the whimper the whimpered sleeping uh, sounds still continue through the loud yelling that you're giving now. Uh, um, can you know, we run, join, we run yeah. in? Oh, yeah, I'll join Guthak. It's, yeah. It's just, yeah, let's, right let's perception room, check around. Okay, you guys all spread out. You can hear you can hear pretty easily where the the whimpering's coming from. And it's uh It's over here in this corner. So you guys make your way over there and you can see somebody is sleeping in in a little sleeping bag. They don't they don't appear too big, but they're it sounds like a mixture of like maybe they're having a nightmare or uh They've been crying or some, something. The sleeping do and the mumbling doesn't sound particularly happy. I'm going to go over there. I say we all go over there and just surround it. Yeah. I'll uh, snap okay. my fingers and produce a little flame to hold up as, like, torch light. Nice. Okay. Uh, you guys all head over there and... You surround the sleeping thing. I'm gonna Should we start singing. Shake him. Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> you, you came in uh coming in a little hot uh oh my goodness that's a how many how many of you out there in here my god what what is happening who are you people um, hello we're sorry we're just um we're just can, you get that light out, can you get that light out of my eye my god I'm sorry i'll i'll kind of i'll, I'll just extinguish it but uh thank you Jeez. Yeah, sorry we're just we're on a mission from a, um, to just try to find, to solve uh, a crime, and we're just solve passing crime. through. Yeah, no, <laughs> I mean no harm. I mean no harm. So, sorry to wake you. Mean no harm. Okay. Uh. Well, we can't say I get much visitors down here. I'm like, uh, I, well, what you've done with the place is. <laughs> Oh, do you? Do yeah. you? Yeah, you see you see that pile of ash that you came in? I didn't when you, when you walked I'm, in, did you see that pile of ash? <laughs> Surely you had to walk through the pile of ash to get in here. Did you see it? Did it look like a fire took place here? Yeah, it did. And you know what happened? People were burnt alive. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Sift through the ashes. You'll find bones, no doubt. I'm going to go oh. sift through the ashes and start... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you do, and you yeah, find you do lying. find bones. There's a, yeah, there's a whole pelvis here. It's, yeah, you see, you see. It's a, it's a horror. horror. It's a horror house in here. Were these your, your friends? Your it's family? terrible. Really and there were guys I knew. Yeah, why? What happened? 
what what was it well uh sorry killian you i you're asking I, a lot of questions so you came and you woke me up no you're coming wake great. me up and you, you, you had, you're asking me 21 questions here who do you who are you what are you doing here i told you i just i just told you that we're, we're oh just... yeah right you're here investigating something yeah yeah we yeah yeah oh what's that what's that what are you investigating well, Somebody killed a bunch of people in town, and for some reason they're hiding out here, and I don't know why. And so we're here trying to find them to clear our friend's name of a series of murders that he didn't commit. Have you seen anybody? Right. Fair play, fair play. I'll, I'll tell you everything I know. Uh, okay, so my, my job in particular is to, uh, well, I'm kind of a babysitter, you know, as, as it were for... Oh! Who turned out the lights? Uh, I'm I'm, I'm kind of like a babysitter, someone that watches uh, a dragon. I'm a I'm in charge of dragons. Check it out. Check it out. He lifts up his shirt, and you can see a bunch of scars and like oh. places where he's been scratched and probably bitten and all that shit. And he's like, "Yeah, see, I got the scars to prove it. I okay. I, uh, I raised the dragons for these these weirdos here at this castle." Dragons, plural. What weirdos? You know the the cobbled the cobbled weirdos that are here at the castle. You know about them, <laughs> surely. What do these weirdos look like? And is one of them the dragon colds? You know, they come, they take people, they eat them, they they feed them, they try to raise dragons, they do all the weird stuff. You heard of them before? You know the weirdos. No, no, I'm afraid That's... not. Yeah. No. No. What Where do you say call? you're from again? Um, <laughs> Potopia. Potopia. Uh, Potopia. Oh. <laughs> wow. Tamworth. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm from Potopia. <laughs> Come on. This guy, give me a break. Uh, are you jerking me? Are you jerking my chain? Oh, we're Come from on. Tamworth. We're from Tamworth. Oh, Tamworth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. You may have never seen a dragon, but you've never been to Blue Lake, though, huh? Okay. Well, do they have a lot of dragons? What do I know? What do I know about Blue Lake and dragons? I mean, <laughs> what do you know? Well, that's what yeah, what do you want to know? Nothing. Nothing. Maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe you should check Blue Lake out if you're ever interested in something. Maybe uh, maybe go speak into the lake and look for uh, I don't know. See what you see. Anyways, uh, uh, getting back to me. Any <laughs> anyhow. Uh, okay. So here's the deal. <laughs> I, I was tasked with raising one of the dragons and i fucked up okay <laughs> uh, i took the dragon out of where i was supposed to and well you can see the result of it getting away from me it used oh. to be in that cage over there and he points to the cage that you that you guys saw that had the hole in it and it got out and killed some of some of my you know i don't know they're not really friends but co we'll call them co-workers he <laughs> killed some of my co-workers and uh, escaped throughout the castle. So I have yet to check out the rest of the castle to see if anybody has survived the wrath of this little... I mean, there's a little guy. He wasn't very big, but he can... Yeah, he can burn people alive. But, uh... <laughs> that, so I've just been kind of here crying, and, uh, you know, <laughs> I know I don't have anything else to do. You know, this is, people find me, and I'm going to die. They're going to kill me, and rightfully so, and because I fucked up. So well, they give me a home, they give me food, they give me cash, and I fucked up. Okay. Why, why don't you just leave? I, you've, I mean, you've, it's not like you've got work to do anymore. You, they're the Come on. dragon. You Look at me. You and... <laughs> Look at me, guy. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do in Potopia? Huh? You want me to go uh, join the freaking circus? Look at me. I think you'd make a a lovely dancer, um, or uh, <laughs> perhaps a, a showman. <laughs> or, uh, Interior you, is there anybody else's group that can speak that's not jerking my chain? Look at me. Sorry. I know. Look at me. Do I look like uh, an actor? No, you I, don't. Perhaps an Thank architect. you. Somebody. The, of course, the demon. The demon one is the one that's real with me. You're welcome. Well. I have a curiosity question for you. Do ask. Um, how much of a possibility is it to get 
my hands on a dragon egg. Oh. <laughs> Man, down here, pretty high. Okay. Well, what is, is there like, is, is there going to be like tricks or anything? Or is it going to be pretty easy for me to steal? Well, that depends. Uh. <laughs> 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 on whether or not you got some gold to pay me and i'll take it to the gold. egg room what are you asking no no no, 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 no. what do you want How uh much gold you let's want? see let me name my price here let me think let me think i think uh i think 10 gold out of do it make it eight and it's a deal did i lowball no i lowball didn't i shit uh, I mean, uh, do you know how much a dragon egg is worth? My God, if there are any left. <laughs> you just told me that there were. It would be easy for me to get my hands on. It might. So you, do you see why I'm down here with the dragons? I can't negotiate, man. I'm. Pff, all right, eight gold. I'll take it to the egg room. Fine. All right. Thank you. Is there enough right. for us all? You want an egg? I don't know. Honestly, if there's if there's any they left, good for you. Good luck with the dragons. I've been around them my whole life. Look at all these guys I got. They done me nothing but bring me freaking misery. And all I ever wanted to do was just ride a dragon. I like the stories. They make me happy. <laughs> do you know anything about an elf man that tried to turn somebody into a dragon that got turned into a troll instead? Oh, Deloy? Uh, yes. Yeah, the elf. He, yeah, he fucked around with the dark magic and got turned into a troll. <laughs> he turned himself into a troll? <laughs> no, no, no. The cobbles turned him into a troll. <laughs> you see? Oh. You see why that's... Look, wait, he just fucked around with some magic. I fucking oh, unleashed a dragon in this place. What do you think they're going to do to me? <laughs> oh, my God, that's true. That is very funny. Okay, how about this? Uh, how about, you know, now is... that I'm thinking here, I'm reassessing things. How about I give you the gold back, and all you do is just ensure that if the cobbles are still alive in here, that they don't kill me. Can we kill them? Wait, what gold? My gold? Yes. Do you no, want us to kill them, or do you want to just... No, I sure don't want you to kill them, alive. because check it out. Check it out. Okay. I might be able to get us at a decent distance within this castle because I know a few secrets and I know mm -hmm. a few ways that we could get through without causing, you know, a ruckus and raising cause for concern. They'll come with us and guide us. Yes, of course. Here, how about this? I'll give you a deal. Yes. Instead of the eight gold, you give me four back. We go on this conquest and then if it comes out right, and I get my dragon egg, then I'll give you two more. You got a deal. Cool. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Was D'Lo, did you say his name was D'Lo? Yeah. Was he a friend of yours? Or is he a that friend of yours? <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. D'Lo well, is, good. that guy was a weirdo. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, uh, he's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. You let him out. Yeah. <laughs> and you killed him. <laughs> it wasn't you killed him. Actually, Julian killed him twice. Killed him. <laughs> Just so you killed him twice. Yeah. Oh, I should have said that. They were both accidents. What do you mean you killed time. him twice? They were both both really accidental. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you killed him twice oh my god thank you for the love of god thank you oh my god i built up my dead case that was uh that's something incredible okay i love it you thought you would like to know that yeah right. may rest in peace yeah. you know whatever <laughs> yeah. scroll okay you deserved it <laughs> no. yeah, whack it do Okay, so uh, oh, yeah, yeah. should we get rolling? Sure, lead the way. Yes. All right, give me a moment to gather my things. What's that guy's name? 
What do you guys think? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. What is his Can name? What's her name? About Sonny. this guy. I better get my damn dragon egg. I know. You better take us to the egg room. If we get down there to an egg room, I think we should take more than one dragon egg, if not just to sell them. Yeah. yeah we'll get more. I'm, I'm keeping my dragon egg. Of course, I'm, yeah. I am going to have my own dragon. Queen of the dragons. It's, it's dragon. only fish. Yeah. Devil lady with a dragon egg. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's very on brand. Yeah. It's all very becoming. <laughs> Any uh, thoughts on this guy, or what, what do you guys think we should do? Should we just have him guide us through here? Or? Yeah, so we are looking for Zeph... What is it? Fuck. Uh, Zephyr? The Grove, I think. But like, what are... Well, like, right now, we're looking for a mysterious man. And... We sounded quiet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There you go. We're looking for, sorry, um, the inspector's brother. Yeah. And then we're looking for the guy who originally got the fruit to bring him to justice. Yeah, right. the, like Gandalf-looking guy who I stole the gem from. I mean, we assume it's him. We don't know. Was we have to find Is his name Zephyr? Yeah. Uh, we no, have to Zephyr find was Marcusia's men first. Yeah. That's why we have the raven to send back word. Oh, once we found him, for sure. And Zephyr yeah. was the guy who is like Brinley's homie. Brinley's like yeah, the quote, rightful king. Yeah, guy. we're just hoping to run into Zephyr, the Temple of Delm, on the way. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So. If we don't okay. trust this guy, I can do a zone of honesty spell and then it will make sure that he won't guide us down a bad path i, I trust him right now but okay he seems weird clever. he has no reason to lie yeah okay uh you guys ready <laughs> yeah yes Ready, Freddy. All right. He starts leading you back down through the pile of ashes. That has been What's your name, through. by the way? Friend? Oh, my name? Uh, it's Leonif. 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 <laughs> Leonif what? Uh, it's just Leonif, okay? We'll live, just leave a call with that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. That's some kind of joke you're going to have. And you, what's your name? <laughs> Kraken Key. Uh, what, okay, what's your real name? <laughs> <laughs> Told you my real name. I'm a <laughs> all right, all right, all right, okay, okay. All right, now when we make our way through these, uh, these, this doorway here, don't be alarmed. I'm going to call out some things. Okay, they might alarm you. You might see some things that will frighten you. Have you ever seen kobolds? They yeah. look like freakish humanoid dragon things okay don't be alarmed unless they come swinging at us then we're fucked okay okay i got a little i got a little knife here i'm down to i'm down to throw down with y'all he's down to clown i'm down to clown but it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle if we do so just follow my lead play things cool i'll go to the main area where the dragon eggs are and if they're there we can get them you know, I say that someone, maybe he goes in between us. That way there's someone in front to look out and someone behind to look out. Absolutely not. I got to be in front. They got to see me first. They got to see me first. Damn it. Yeah, good idea. They got to see me first. Good idea. You got to trust me on this. I know we just met. Right. Um, <laughs> leaving it in. How tall are you? Are you taller than Brindley? I'm about Everything. two nine. <laughs> that, that's how are you, gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> that's not I'm interesting. about two nine. <laughs> Either way, it's all to me. 
Um, I say Brinley goes and, and stands next to him as we're walking through. So that way, if she wants to be able to catch a look in front, that Excellent. she can without being like too obvious. Well, put whoever you want behind me, but we're doing this. Okay, I'll be up there. Okay. Peaking. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Yes. One, yes, two, Lisa. three, let's go. All right, he starts leading you through <laughs> into this area. And you guys get in here. You guys are starting to see, like, weird things peeking from some of these kinds of uh, halls that you're passing. In this first hall here, you see a couple cobbles as you're passing. And for now, they're just watching you. And uh, as Lee and Nif leads out a little bit, you just hear him. And he just calls out. And Brindley, because you know Draconic, you understand what he says. But to the rest of you, it just sounds like kind of weird ancient language. But he says, Peppercorn! And the, and the kobolds <laughs> see see him say that. And they start to they kind of fall back into shadow. Peppercorn! <laughs> he keeps calling out as you guys pass some of these doors. That are kind of cracked open with cobbles watching, and you can tell now that the cobbles are they're fine here. It doesn't seem like the dragon killed anything here, or if it did, they cleaned up, but they seem to be doing just fine. Peppercorn, he call he keeps calling out as he's as he's leading ahead of you, and you guys start to uh, you see another doorway here at the bottom. Um, but it, the hall continues until you get to the end of this hall. He calls out one more time. Peppercorn! And <laughs> you come to the end and round this corner. <clears throat> go ahead and, um, let's see... Brindley, go, because you're behind him, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Up to this room. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. As you enter here, you can see a short throne stands near the west wall. It's constructed of fallen bits and uh, masonry stacked against an old altar. On top of the altar sits a variety of small items. The portion of the altar that serves as the throne's back features a carving of a rearing dragon. A metallic key is held firmly in the dragon's open jaws. So back here is where the altar is. And sitting right here in this throne, you see what looks like a humanoid red dragon sitting in this beautiful kind of elegant cloth that's a little ripped and tattered. And you can... Besides a big ring on her finger that's made of a fat yellow jewel, she just sits and is staring at you guys as you walk in. And, uh, uh, Leonif kind of turns to you guys. Uh, uh, crap. Okay, this is the Lita. Um, there's the eggs is usually where she keeps them. They're behind her. So, uh, if you want to talk to her and try to get some eggs, I guess we could do that. Uh, I'm just going to wait over here in the corner. And he just comes right over here and just stands there. So, obviously, he's afraid of something. He didn't tell us this information before because... He, he comes back over. Her name's Yidrasil. I say we grab the 
the guy and we bring him and throw him in the front. Uh, in front of the, the dragon egg queen. Don't do that. I vote against this. Don't make don't make me double talk myself. <laughs> 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 That's fair. Um, I can talk to her in Draconic at first so that she can feel like maybe she trusts us. Mm -hmm. So I tell her that, hello, we mean no harm. We are here in the market for your marvelous dragon egg. She she looks over to you, and she just holds out her hand towards you and just motions for you to come closer. Do you guys want to come closer? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll step closer. Just you, my child. You can see as the she's pointing out to Brinley. Okay, I move up closer. Okay. I see you know the language of the ancients. Tell me, child, what brings you here besides my eggs? We're, um, we're looking for a friend of ours that got lost. And I think he might have come this way, so we've actually been just looking for him so that we can get him and leave you to peace. Hmm. And this person you seek, what do they look like? Um, just a, a regular old elf. An elf? Mm hmm. Hmm. I've seen no such elves, but I have seen another halfling come through here. You don't say. That is why I call to you. Because you remind me of this halfling in size. Well, I'm a little bit taller than him, but, um, <laughs> could you maybe mention where he might have gone? Oh, yes, he went to the grove. Castle. Your servant boy could take you. He knows the way to the grove. This guy, okay. He's been a big help, by the way. Really nice. Good representative of your business here. She just <laughs> stares at you. <laughs> Well, thank you for um, your help, and I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Not too soon, but in the future. I'm right here if you need me. She just sits and stares at you. I'm going to back away for like s slowly so she doesn't okay. think that I'm pulling any tricks yeah as you do you can see now in the back of the room by these pillars that there are about 15 kobolds just standing there watching you guys in this room oh did we want to buy a dragon egg i was too scared i forgot i don't want an egg but if any of you guys i want, want i want to it. figure out a way to be able to take one i say whispering to the group oh. How much would it cost to buy one, do you think? I'm going to look back at her and, and tell her and ask her in Draconic still what she 
if she is needing a foster home for these eggs she's got here. You want my eggs still? I'm just going to step forward and just say that I would really love to have one. And I'm just wondering <laughs> what, how much I would have to pay to be able to have one. Uh, make a persuasion check for me. Oh, wait, that was the wrong dice. That was the wrong dice. Oh, wait, plus two. And guidance. 17. What's guidance? Plus. Uh, another uh, d4 dice roll. Two. <clears throat> Okay. Um, 19. She... Ni <laughs> 20. 21, baby. 21. <laughs> uh, the Yidrasil just look, turns and looks at you and uh, starts to just kind of pierce deep into your eyes and then suddenly just nods her head okay and ha holds out her hand. One fifty gold. Um, uh, I'm gonna ask DM how much gold am I supposed to have? Did we get that already? Yeah, no, you have it. Have... There was two fifty in that sarcophagus. Do we split <clears throat> that up? I can just give it to her. I don't need it. I can't hear you. Oh. I, don't I don't need the gold. I don't. I, I guess I took it and do anything with it. We could just bankroll a dragon egg for her. Yeah. All right. So we you haven't put... earned any since we started, right? No, you yeah, have, you have. You have. You have gold. Gold's like one of the few things that I actually don't keep track of, and that's uh, that's something that you guys. So right now, before you buy this, you have 270 gold. How's that sound? We'll just hear that 250 from the sarcophagus. Unless you guys need some gold. We'll give you 50. Yeah, I'm happy to give some, <laughs> some of my gold away for a dragon. Okay, so yeah, we'll just take the 250 from the sarcophagi. Put it into and, my, my gold bank roll. Yeah, put it into her <laughs> bank account. I'm just going to sell you some... Gold. Value some. We'll some. We'll give you fifty okay. gold for the egg. <laughs> she uh she can't understand what you're saying, so she she's just kind of ignoring you as to kind of personalize to her, I'm going to use my comprehend languages. Okay. Because I can speak to her as well, correct? Yeah. You, okay. you, uh, so, yeah, you just kind of reach out your hand real quick and hold it to your temple, and you cast that, and you are able to communicate with her clearly. Okay, so um, I accept the payment of the 150. Is that what we said? Yeah. Um, I'd like to up it to 300 so I can have two. As for three, three for 300. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, she, she, sh she shakes her head and just says only one for sale. Okay. I'll take the one. And so I give her 150. And I get my dragon egg. Oh, and do you ever? Okay. All right. Seriously, you need to roll a d12 and a d8 for me. What's up? Okay. I'm just, I'm uh, counting size of dice is a very confusing process for me. Oh, it's all good. You'll get, it takes, it takes practice. You'll get used to it. This one? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, two, 
Then eight. A ten. Do I add anything onto here? No, you do not. Okay. The egg you receive is a very light blue colored egg. But running throughout this light blue are what look like lightning bolts of bright white blue glowing energy. Okay. As she hands you the egg, the light within it moves and it pulsates. And as you take this as you take this egg in your hand, something else starts to happen. But not to you. This time to one of your companions. As Cersei turns to the rest of you with pure excitement and bewilderment, a slight vibration can be felt in Killian's pocket. The stone that sits within starts to buzz Ooh, and move around. I'll take, I'll take it out and look at it. And when you do to take a look at it, the stone begins to pull out of your hand, but you grasp onto it tight. But it pulls towards the egg. It wants the egg. Oh. Um. Uh, uh, Cersei, my stone is, is doing something. It wants your egg or something. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say that we... I don't know, we either combine them together or like bring them closer together or we wait until we're out of where we are and then we can do that. So like we just like make sure that we get out of where the area in order to merge the two. That's probably for the best, but then the only thing is what if the gem just absorbs your dragon or something and turns it into some sort of dragon item? The stone goes flying out of your hand no! and it shoots straight towards the egg and attaches no! itself to the egg. And when you do, you see the swirling blue energy on the egg get moved up and move into the stone. But it doesn't come off of the egg. It's merely just feeding off of it. The stone fills up with the blue glowing light and falls to the ground. And the egg starts to get bigger. Oh, oh shit. And it gets oh, shit. bigger and it gets bigger. And now you see Yidrasil on the throne, eyes wide open, and she screams out in Draconic and you the ones that can make out the word know that she screams out Titan Stone. And the rest of the cobbles go and grab Yidrasil as this is happening. The egg keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm gonna grab my dark stone back real quick. I'm gonna grab out my holy symbol just in case. Um, okay, Cersei, the egg is now too heavy for you to hold. Oh, shit. What would you like to do with it? I'll, I'll help. I'm gonna ask Guthog to see if he can carry the egg. I'll try, okay. yeah, yeah, yes, I can do it. Guthok comes right. over to to grab it, and as soon as you pass it off to Guthok, the egg gets even bigger. Oh, and Guthok, you have no choice. Oh you have no choice now but to set it down on the ground. Oh. And when you do, the egg cracks. From one side, over the top, and to the other side, and out burst the head of a blue dragon. Ooh. Okay. Shit. I'm going to I'm going to approach the baby dragon and see if I can comfort it and like 
create some attachment. Okay. As you as you walk over to the dragon, Leonif, in his excitement of seeing another dragon, also runs over with you. And he's pointing up to the dragon. Oh, look, lady, I told you you get a dragon egg. <laughs> and as soon as as soon as he gets done saying that, the dragon just just chomps down on <laughs> Leonif and just gives a couple chomps and swallows him whole. Whoa. And then uh, looks down at Circe and uh, just has its eyes focused on you and lowers its head towards you and just puts its snout out towards you to smell you and then just goes back up after doing so and the whole thing just breaks out of the entire egg. You guys all get blasted with this egg goo and uh, the force is enough from the wings to kind of push you all back and you can just see this this dragon starts going to town on the cobbles that are that are in the room with you. She's she's <laughs> chewing them up and and eating them <laughs> super so quick. And she's spraying. You see her spray like all this crazy like uh, looks like water mixed in with ice and just wreaking <laughs> havoc in this room. I'll look to see um, like. Control your child. I don't think I did anything. I think, honestly, I think I should, like, move toward it again. He'll, he'll tuck himself Wait, out. Did you say, did you say Yidr Yidrasil? Yidrasil? No, Yidrasil got out. Leonif oh, was say? eaten. Okay. They said Titanstone before, like, when it was getting big, and that's Zever's name. Hey, Zever, buddy. Is that you? We'll have to find out next time <laughs> on the next episode of Legends of Potopia. <laughs>